First, some breaking news overnight as more severe weather batters the south. A cleanup is underway in north central Alabama, including the city of Birmingham, after a tornado struck on Friday. Flooding also is a big problem. Trees were knocked down, some on top of houses, trapping people inside. Power is out for about 10,000 customers. In Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi, at least 15 people were killed during Christmas week. Survivors are expressing thanks for being alive. Mark Strassman is in Holly Springs, Mississippi with the latest. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Another storm system is now moving across Mississippi, bringing with it rain, hail, and winds of more than 40 miles an hour. It's the latest punch of weather that has staggered sections of the south. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Sonia Wilkins came home to no sign of Christmas joy. This is where I used to live and it's gone. The house she shared with her husband, son, and daughter for the past nine years is scattered among a grove of shattered trees. See it like this, it's really hurtful. But yes, we will rebuild. We will rebuild. Her 35 year old son was the only one home when the tornado hit. He's hospitalized with a broken pelvis and cuts. It could have been worse. We could have been planning a funeral instead. We're not, so I'm so thankful for that. They searched for family mementos. Pictures of my mom. She passed away in 2010, and I would look at it every night before I go to bed and just say good night and wish I could find that picture too. There's a tornado in front of us. The Wilkins home is among hundreds destroyed by the cluster of deadly tornadoes. The youngest victim, seven-year-old Nicholas Pomeroy, was trapped in a car with his mother and sister. The winds ripped him out of the vehicle. Among the six who died in Tennessee, three were found in a car submerged in a river. This aerial view of Ashland, Mississippi, shows the devastation of the most powerful storm. It reportedly stayed on the ground for at least 145 miles, packing winds of up to 160 miles per hour. Rooftops were completely torn off, trees pulled from the earth, roots and all. Scattered cinder blocks stood where homes used to be. Barbara Williamson was inside her Clarksdale home when it shredded around her. I don't even know how I'm alive. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. At the Red Cross Emergency Center in Holly Springs, the Christmas spirit was on full display. Donated toys for children who lost their presence in the storm. Laverne Zinn picked out new gifts for her nieces and nephews. They had the toys under the Christmas tree. They got the store. And anything that anybody give them, they are thankful for. The smile on their face, that make me happy. Some families who've lost everything have yet to return home to salvage what they can. The weather is still too rough. Anthony, this is one Christmas they'll always remember. Very rough one. Mark Strassman in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Thank you, Mark.